Hi, my name is Erika, and in this video I will show you my 4 days trip to Helsinki to attend HelloCon 2023. It all started the night of my birthday. I slept at Mariana's place to be at the airport at 4am, where we had breakfast and met with Stefania. This was our Italian representation party to the international event. After arriving in Finland, we immediately found Moomins, and then grabbed the first train to Helsinki city center, that in little over half an hour got us to the train station, where we hopped on a tram and left our baggage at our hotel, while our room was being prepared. We arrived the day before the event and took the chance to visit the city a little. We decided to have lunch at the harbor, which had a delicious selection of street foods. I had salmo with vegetables and an incredibly good sauce. We also got some strawberries we were thinking to save for breakfast, which we ended up finishing right after because they were just too tasty. Then we resumed our visit and had a look at what the markets had to offer, both as souvenirs as well as foods and curiosities. After a look around, we also found an international market, which had food and all sorts of objects from every part of the world. And I especially liked these cute llamas and the tea section here. The buildings in the city center were really nice. Some had names that were funny in Italian, and some were interesting. We also found a spot that matched our library prints. Benoit caught up with us, and uh, he and Stefania visited the place while we had a stroll above it. We walked a lot that day. We also got to see the Passio Musiche monument in the Sibelius Park, then headed back to have tea and sweets, chejeune, as by then we were quite tired. We had quite a feast. Then we headed back to our hotel, where our rooms were ready. And uh, despite being very simple, they were very clean and had everything that was necessary and were quite comfortable. It was also a funny surprise to discover that the night escape plan was intensely glowing in the dark. The next morning, we got ready for the first day of Elocone. Mariana and I prepared the twin with Innocent World Strawberry Fields JSK, since the theme was about fairies and forests. And here's what we brought while it was still full of Mariana's embroidered creations as Verbena Creazioni at the beginning of the day. We were in the artist alley, which had quite the view, and the vendors were in the main hall below. We welcomed the VIP guests first, who got first dips on everything, and after the opening ceremony I got to have a look around. Here are the other artists' tables, and one of the conference rooms. The fashion show began. And you can see Marianna appreciating them from above. Because it was a bit far, I don't have the best videos, but you can find all of them archived on the Alocone YouTube page. Instead, I tried to have a look around to document what was on the vendor's tables while they still had many goods on them, and I also snatched a couple of things while I was at it. It's always great to be able to see such a variety of Lolita-related items all at once. Meta and Atepie also had their own tables here, and they were the guests of honor of this year's edition of Helocone. I completed the tour of all the vendor tables in the main hall, and then I had to return to our table in the artist alley, while the vendor's fashion show went on below us. While it's true we couldn't see well all of the fantastic designs down there, of which we could only really catch a glimpse, we had our good share of amazing chords from the people that visited our stand some of which gently agreed to showcase them for me. I'm really happy I got to see a lot of OG fashion too. And also some friends I made from the Vida Essentia tea party in Rome. Beautiful. Stefania was a part of the vendor fashion show and here's her own cohort for the day. This one is also a dress I'm after. 
Then it was time for the ATPA fashion show and the questions and answers session, which also can be found on the Helicon YouTube page. I couldn't follow it all because I had to prepare for my own little presentation. Doodling with Erika. I managed to get lost and got gently escorted to the right room, where I had the loveliest assistant and the organizers even got paper and color pencils for this. I also brought some, but they weren't enough for everyone who joined, so I'm really grateful. The presentation was a little workshop teaching how to draw simple Lolita elements to decorate thank you notes and scrapbooks. I was nervous to finish it in time, because right after there was the meta fashion show and everyone wanted to be there. We can see Noke in the four pixels here and all of the models, followed by the meta questions and answer session. I also had a cabedon moment, but I got too embarrassed. We arranged the items on our table since Marianna nearly finished her items by this point. Also, some other tables were selling out. And I got to visit some of my friends down in the main hall again. And got visited in turn. Then, the best dressed people of the day were awarded a helicomb bouquet each which the organizers explained is a lovely Finnish tradition. Chrissy immediately put hers to good use. It was time for the closing ceremony, and we took down our tables and headed out. However, it wasn't the end of the day. We headed back to the hotel to get changed for the after-party event. In between the two, we had just enough time to have dinner, and Stefania chose a place I really loved that also had shrimps. I know what you're thinking, Erika, are you really going to eat shrimps? Has the Rome trip taught you nothing? Two shrimps. shrimps. Your face before shrimps? Okay. Well, I ate shrimps with rice and it was delicious. And I wasn't sick afterwards. I was ready to party. We had two options. The other involved table games. But we ended up choosing the Apollo Club one. There were several performances which very understandably couldn't be filmed. After those, we danced as well. It started out normal and then we started making up dance moves. Our favorite was the pizza in the oven, which unfortunately nobody documented. We did the rowing one, the sew, the octopus, cleaning the windows, the Italian crabs, and so many people joined in. At some point it was quite hot and Caitlin was getting undressed. I had an OP so I pretended to remove my petticoat. But then Wolfie and Uriel encouraged me to actually do it. Next thing, my petticoat was flying. We had so much fun. After a good night of sleep, we got ready for the next day event, the Titania tea party. Mariana and I were set to twin again, but our original idea to be two clones got derailed by her dress not arriving in time. Luckily, she got this other beautiful Miss Point dress as a backup, which I also had recently acquired, and in hindsight, it was a great choice, as it was perfect to place the wings that Mariana made to transform us in fairies. We got in line and found these cute goodies at the table we ended up choosing. I didn't miss a beat to entangle with Chrissy, and our table got filled with beautiful people soon after. We also found another Italian living in Finland while we were looking for a photo spot. This was Benoit Fairy Cord for the day. And this was ours. We snatched some photographs and then got back to our places as the tea party was actually starting. We received instructions to head to the buffet area which had various sweets and sour options to satisfy special diets, as well as dietary restrictions and allergies. Each table had the same things, so that the lines could go quicker. While the beverages had a cold, sweet option in the form of a delicious juice. And two kinds of tea, plus coffee. I shared the sweets plate with Marianna. While everyone was enjoying their meals, which were delicious, and the food was quite abundant, I started wandering around to talk with people and just documenting everyone's looks for the tea party. There was the German team, and then there was this Uzakumia used as a centered piece at the UK table. Then we had people from overseas again, and just about everyone's cords were so beautiful. 
For example, this was the same dress me and Mariana were wearing, but styled differently, which is so cool! We also took Polaroids, and I'm jealously keeping mine. Thanks, by the way! Then there was a theatrical piece featuring the fairy queen, Titania, after which the tea party was themed and involving quite some action with battles and lolitas. No! It was quite fun. <laughs> a small break where I finally said hi to Noke, whose chord was incredible and on theme as usual. Then the next activity started, a lottery with so many prizes. one of the organizers got to win something and was in disbelief at winning for once. We were beginning to believe our table just wasn't lucky because nobody got drawn. When well, one of us got cold, winning a unicorn pillow. There was also another helicon bucket, which finally I could see from up close. What's in this? <laughs> Some people even want full dresses. <laughs> Just looking at the pure joy it was quite refreshing. Then, at the pied and Meta Guests of Honor picked their favorite chords. Here's Cake Jumper in disbelief at having been picked. I love that chord. This was the same person throwing my petticoat the night before. The other chosen person was Frilly Potato, with an adorable cord. They both won prizes. Then it was the end of the event, so we headed out, where we met with Wolfie and Nathy and Duriel again. We made a group also with Caitlin and headed to dinner together. In Italy we say, squadra che vince non si cambia, you don't change a winning team. So, since we were tired and the restaurant from the night before was fine, we got back there. I got different plates. Even better, we all shared something. We attempted karaoke, but there wasn't the right vibe, so we went to a different place instead. I completely forgot to record or take a picture, but Frilly Potato and her husband joined us, as well as Taro, at a very chill pub. Then some of the people were rightfully tired. I thought we were gonna go home, but no, Mariana wanted to see the city by night, get the cosmopolitan experience, and look how so happy she was. She is happy. Her face was already happy. She is very happy. With those who survived till here, we walked so much, but also had a blast with. It was so great to be able to chat, except the pineapple on pizza part. Anyway, at some point Mariana was satisfied and we were all tired. So we said goodbye and got home to sleep. The next day we got ready early and packed our stuff as we would catch the plane that night. 
we left our luggage in the hotel luggage room and set to explore the surroundings a bit longer. We were really attracted to this place that looked like a glass house. Mariana got some more souvenirs for her family. We saw a couple more interesting things. And then we met with Benoit again. We found a covered market, which was quite pleasant given the chill of the wind, and we decided we would have lunch here. There were tons of eating options. Each looked great. But we finally settled for these potatoes filled with different toppings. They were incredibly delicious and I recommend them. Nothing was left of them. And with a full belly, we were ready to explore Helsinki again. <laughs> we decided to take the ferry to Suomenlinna and visit the UNESCO Heritage Place. Ferries bring back memories to the sailor meet we had a year ago. Our cohorts were sort of on theme again. Especially Marianna's. Mine just had the right color. I wasn't sure we'd take the ferry, so I didn't bring a sailor piece, but in the end, I'm so glad we did go. The view was beautiful, Mariana was as pretty as a picture, and the seagulls followed the ferry for the entirety of the time. Then we started our visit of the island, which wasn't too big, but it was definitely charming. I really like these figurines here. And this dock felt so peaceful. We saw a submarine and decided to visit it. Mariana is in her cute but dangerous phase, so she was the most excited about it. The inside was small and dark, but also quite interesting. There were also pictures showing part of the crew in those same spots. It truly gave a sense of how it would be like to live in a submarine, even though it was red and not yellow. Then we continued our walk, discovering some other spots that vibed a lot with Mariana. These houses here, that looked like hobbit houses, were soldiers' covers, as this was actually a defensive place, with covered passages and fortifications, supposedly in a star shape. This swamp was very much my vibe instead. This is the military museum, we went in because the submarine ticket also gave us access to it. As the topic was intense, I will only show you this clothing and Mariana hopping on a plane reproduction. Then it was time to head back. We took the ferry back and still had a bit of time before having to go fetch our luggage and go. So we finally went into that pretty place we were eyeing. We got tea and sweets and I got to try everyone's cakes, which were delicious. I'm so glad we ended up going, it was worth it. Also less expensive we would have thought. Then we fetched our luggage and hopped on the train heading to the airport. Everything went smoothly, so we had plenty of time to spend in the airport. We found some pretty shops while tiredly heading to the gate to get on the plane back home. And this is where our trip ends. Thank you for watching till the end.